The South Downs Way is a long distance footpath and bridleway running along the South Downs in southern England. The trail runs 100 miles from Winchester in Hampshire to Eastbourne in East Sussex. Join me as I navigate the chalk bridleways and rolling hills of the south, check out some of the greatest sunsets and sunrises I've seen to date and interact with some wonderful people along the way. Let's go. No trace. E. Chapman again. Glorious, look. The moon was amazing last night. I saw it rise pink like the sun. And just arch its way over every time I woke up. And the, as I say, it was the tail end of this comet. So the, star, the sky was, even though it was a full moon, so not as bright, you could still see like flashes of stuff. It was wild. <laughs> One of the greatest nights, man. Thanks, Mother Nature, and off I go. Into the breach. So shoulders are hurting a bit because I think I got burnt a bit yesterday on top. <laughs> so bags are hurting it a little bit. Um, left ankle's tweaking a little. Now it's serious. Apart from that, completely fine. Just enjoying this, man. This is nice hiking. This real nice. It's starting to heat up though. I mean, it's only quarter to seven, but you can feel the heat of the sun already. It's making me think. Oh, well, it's been making me think another day in the, oh, another day in the heat wave, I guess, isn't it? Suck it up. It's just nice hiking, man, along this ridge. I'm really enjoying it. I've got lovely views to the left, and I've got the sea to the right. Um, I'm hoping to come across somewhere that sells coffee at some point. Uh, that would be nice. But, that's it. Damage report is, if I'm got hold on. Maybe a little bit of amber on both shoulders, maybe a bit of amber on ankle. I mean, we're not 100%, are we? We're not green everywhere. Noggin's green, feel good in noggin. Body's a little bit beaten up, but that's what you're expecting it from hiking so much. I didn't stop till, what was it, 10 o'clock last night? Up at six. Just crack on. Uh, yeah, the coffee today would be good. And I keep getting excited about the finish, about having a beer, getting a shower. All the simple things, simple, beautiful things. Artwork, mate, that's art. Look at that. It's like a CD. I'm taking a little detour, I've come off off the tops up there. So I've seen this garage. Wee. Yes. Coffee, banjo, sauces. Get after it. With some beautiful views of some bins. Suitably refreshed. After my coffee and banjo. Don't know what to expect off this section as we head towards Eastbourne. 
I think I'm about 23 miles away from Eastbourne and so I've done a few miles today already let's have a look what we're on time wise half nine my friend is meeting me at the finish line and she's not going to be there till tomorrow maybe midday -ish, one o'clock something like that so I guess I could finish today later on today just have a relaxing one by the beach look at the size of that I feel like I want to move it off the track yeah mate don't bite me out it's a hawk moth hawk moth caterpillar oh hey up <laughs> see you later hawk moth is this how it all ends is it me and you lads in here oh they've got little uns it's when they've got little uns that it's a bit of a I'm coming through I just want to get through ah <sighs> You've all got kids with you, you could potentially kill me. Oh, I don't know if I can handle it, I'm a bit... I'm going for it, are we? Right, look, I'm going to just come straight... Oh, there's little tiny little baby ones. I'm going to come straight through on this path. You can just part ways, like Moses through the sea. I don't want any beef, I don't want any trouble. How am I going to do this, look? Do you want out? Do you want out? Yeah, that's right. Go that way. She's seen biceps, look. Take your little kid with you as well, because I don't want to... I don't want to orphan you in that little thing. Right, I'm going through. I'm going through. Anyone wants it, they can have it. That's it. Right, you move. Come on. Moi. <whistles> you stood it way, mate. I don't want anything to do, like... Let's not get aggy. Come on. Yeah, that's it. That's it. No. I'll thwart you. It's real close, isn't it? Real close to these lads, look. Girls. I wasn't even bothered. Palms weren't even sweating. That's because it's sunny. That's the only reason my palms were sweating, guys, because it was sunny. You don't want this sweaty palm all up the side of that bonny little head. Look at that, getting cocky, aren't I, because I've made it through. Am I going to fall at final hurdle? Is this one going to get me? She's looking. Not bothered. You worry about them flies all over your bonts. I did it! Did it, never in doubt. Just another, just conquered it again. You lot take care of yourselves. See you in Eastbourne for a gauge. Medic! Right, you can see, there's a sea over there, and in this valley, that's New Haven, in here. We're going all the way around this headland, as far as the eye can see, over the other side, and that's Eastbourne. Seems a, a quite a long way. Hey, what's that buzzard? Can you hear it? Coco! Buzzard, definitely. I want a slush puppy. I know it's only crushed ice and E numbers, but I want them E numbers and that crushed ice in my face. Honestly, like a wheelie bin full of it. Blue flavour. Or whatever flavour you've got, mix them all up. Watermelon if you've got it, that'd be good. I keep thinking about it with this watermelon. Or just... Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to search for one when I get to Eastbourne. There must be a slush puppy. I haven't had one for years, man. That's all I've been thinking about. That just It's just sugary and cold, isn't it? That's what I want. Yeah. I'm going to get one. I might get a little bottle of, like a miniature bottle of vodka or tequila or something. <laughs> Go and get a slush puppy. Mix the two together. Slush puppy cocktail, bosh. I'm torturing myself actually by talking about it. So actually, I get all excited and then I get real sad because I don't have it. Oh, sun's well up now. That's what's got me feeling like this. And um, 
not passed water for a long time. I haven't got, I've got two or three mouthfuls left. That I'm saving just for emergencies. So, mouth dry as a bone. That's why I'm on slush puppy vibe. Uh, I've run out of electrolytes as well, which is a bit of a nightmare for the old muscles. But I figure it's the last day, last big push. We'll leave it all out here, it's fine. Um, but yeah, I mean, the weather is just, it's hot, but it is glorious still. I have to keep putting myself in that mindset of like, well, at least it's not gale force winds and rain. It's quite pleasant when you just get into your own pace. So I'm just sort of get, you get into a zone and then time goes quicker when you're in a zone and you just, you almost black out in your own thoughts and then <laughs> you come round and you're like, oh, I've just done three miles without realizing. But I still can see the sea, so. I've got the sea on the right hand side, I'm just going to get gradually closer. I'm desperate, we're at this trough, a farmer's trough for cattle. And what you can normally do, it's self-filling, so once this, is it something called a stopcock goes down, then this comes on, refills it again. It's not always clean drinking water, but you can filter it, it's definitely good to smash over your head. get in there it's a bit dirty in there like but it's cool head down a bit apparently there's a station over this hill and down through this valley a couple of miles maybe i don't know what that means it might have some drink in there that'd be nice somewhere to fill water bottles up i come in i could use this and run it through my filter do you know what i'm gonna i've taught myself into it because what if that station doesn't have any water? On a day like today, that is insane, isn't it, not to have out? So, yeah, let's take a minute and fill this. Oh, it's clogged up, man. I'll tell you why it'll be clogged up. From Cleveland Way. It'll be clogged from that puddle full of rubbish. All I can get, look at all the bits in it as well. I can't do this, man. I'm doing it, though. <laughs> See, that's the thing about going spur at the moment not checking over all your kit because on my last trip on uh, the Cleveland Way I drank out of a puddle that had so much smeg in it that's it oh here we go what's that here we go are we in so it's coming out hey <laughs> dislodged it a little bit oh this is going to be painstaking man I'll turn you off but I'll sit with it I'll sit with that fill that up get a blister pad on and we'll crack on Phew. Filtered water. <sighs> Unbelievable. So simple in it, but when you need it, it's the most important thing in the world. I'm gonna spend some time and fill another one of these up. Chuck a blister pad on and then we'll crack on. Look at that. I look like a, uh, someone's created a hiker, you know, like on Grand Theft Auto when you just get hikers, like a generic hiker. That's me. I look like I've been made for Grand Theft Auto. Absolute nerd, really. <laughs> Nerdsville. Yeah, this isn't Nerdsville. Look at this. Can you read it? Yeehaw. To the pub. <laughs> Rodmel Village, half a mile. I wonder if that has got a pub. Oh no, the South Downs way is that way. Forget it then, no pub for me today. Look at these lads with boat, look. Where there's a boat, there's water. And I'm gonna just ask these lads if it's safe to swim where they're going, and I'm going in if it is. I've got to make friends. 
There they go, look. I'll document it just in case they never come back. Farewell. Farewell. Can we get their birthdays? Because I'd like to put their birthday, their, the day they were born and then this date, because, and then fade to like sapia or black and white or something. Because uh, they're the dead now. 1st of November, 1st <laughs> of November 1988, 12th of Feb 1988. <laughs> to this day. That's cool. Bye, see ya. Yeah, yeah, we'll see ya. Yeah, I'll see you there. Do it, you know, do it, just for fun. Oh, just fun. Yeah. Just for shits and giggles. I wasn't planning on there being a heat wave, but that's one of them, innit? There's loads of water stops along the whole place for when you do your um, biking. There's like designated taps and stuff. Yeah, it's brilliant. Uh, there's an app as well that you can find them on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, making good good pace. Like a lot of people don't even cycle it in four days. But, but the thing is, it's like late, late, it's long days, so I just hike all day, yeah. just till I get tired and then sleep wherever I drop in a field or whatever, and then oh, you got a busy bag. crack on. Yeah, yeah. Well, it'll take it takes you a while to get your coordination done. It sync up with whoever you, they're all over the place that you're mates. <laughs> 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 they're just bedding in. You guys have got the best boat as well. Look at that. It's a beast. It does job actually. I'm feeling right. Wow, that's legit. Right. Got the front or the back? Uh, I normally go the front. Yeah, right. Where do you want to go? I don't mind. Don't mind. Uh, Godspeed, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Enjoy the rest of your um, trip. I will. I'm just putting you on the camera. I hope you don't mind. Yeah. Just documenting this for prosperity. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, <enjoy the> <laughs> prosperity slash YouTube. Yeah. What's your names, guys? If you do want to be on here or. Do you mind? Oh, should we do fake names then? Do fake names, do aquatic names. Uh, I'm um, Rod Roger Parrot. Because <laughs> there's a parrot fish or? Is it? Is it or is that because it's a sailor's thing? Yeah, sailor. Yeah, there is a parrot fish. Is it, is it Roger Parrot and Jim Barnacle? Jim Parrot and Roger Barnacle. Yeah. Billy Blowfish. I feel like I should help. No, no, you're good. No, you're good. Okay. Let's be honest, that's what it's all about, isn't well, it? I'm just going to the brewery in Lewis. Uh, yeah, that's all it is, isn't it? It's, it's, just, it's just an, yeah, an aquatic pub crawl. This is good. There they go, look. Say bye to it, lads. Bon voyage. Hey, hey look at that, speeding away. Blowing fast out there, so as long as I just stay in this bit, you're good. Best ever. Best day of my life. That was tremendous. Cooled my car temperature down there. And just washed all the dust off me. This is quite a dusty trail, this. Just washing all the dust off my feet, off my skin and my hair. Oh. What it did do, though, it... Um, my compedes came off and I wasn't able to get any more on because my skin's gone all like wet and soft and that. Even when I dried it out, they wouldn't stick on and it showed up. You sort of couldn't, well, it basically showed my feet up for what they were because it washed all the dirt off them and got quite a lot of blisters, which is a, a lol. It's in, they're in between toes as well. I've got a few in, couple in between toes, one at the bottom at foot and one at the back at heel. But that's how it is, isn't it? That's how it is. They're uh, they're all right. It's only a bit of surface damage. For now, they're just doing their, their thing, sloshing around like balloons, like water balloons in, in between my toes. <laughs> it doesn't feel that bad, to be fair. You just block it out of your mind. But yeah, that was a lovely little stop. That a much needed break. Salt water as well. Um, it is mafting, absolutely mafting. Oh, there's a station here. Oh, I'm glad I filled my water because it's not a station with anything that you can have. Is this car look? I'll just keep doing this while the car goes past because I don't care, mate. Um, it wave, look. <laughs> Fair enough. Hey, look, what's he doing? Doesn't matter what I'm doing. 
You do you in your little red car, and I'll do me talking to this camera about blisters. All right. Uh, yeah, this station looked like it's got nothing, so I made the right choice to film a water bottle when I did. Whew. I'm heading up there to the tops. Hopefully that'll afford me some more views of that sea again and uh, get more of, of a perspective of, as to where I am and how far I've got to go. Train spotting. That's what I look like. Right, I'm aware we've got to battery issues. Trying to just get to end with batteries, but that was a good stop at the youth hostel. Orange and poppy seed cake, cup of coffee, uh, sparkling, fizzy, watery, raspberry thing. Good. Fill my water bottles up to brims. We're good to go. 16 miles left. I'm feeling refreshed now. I had a cold swim and then a cake stop. Ovs. Feeling good. Gonna crunch out some miles. Looking forward to getting back on top and seeing the sea. Ooh, she's a warm. <laughs> it's windy, but the wind is. I said it before, like having a hairdryer on you. That's the river I was in, the bridge down there. And all across these tops, you can see where I've come. <laughs> I was contemplating having an easy one and then fit, you know, camping on the outskirts of Eastbourne and then finishing tomorrow during the day, but sack it, mate. We're going for it. Going for a big finish. Feet are a mess. I'm going to take shoes off and toes are going to come off with shoes. Trigman Freud. Love that. I've just dropped down and I think we stay down now. Stay down. Everybody stay down! Sorry. Uh, and I think we... we it's that lump of a thing there. I think we skirt around the bottom of it, I think. Going off map and then there's uh, Eastbourne in distance. <laughs> Eastbourne identity. Um, so I'm estimated to get there around 9 o'clock. I don't know if I've said that already. Can't remember, my brain's all frazzly. So now much to report. I've uh, the chat... My chat has gone, I'm afraid. I've got no banter at all. I see a uh, uh, little butterfly, was it a moth? A zombie butterfly. I see a good gate and I can't even, put, I can't even muster the energy to get camera out for the gate, if it's a good one as well. So I'm like, oh, battery's low. My battery's low. The banter's just non, not there, so. I'm just doing what I can to keep you informed and hopefully I'll save a little bit in tank for when we get to end. What's this car's gonna choke me out with all dust? Quite an affluent little area. As you can see by this rolls. Rolling down here. Right then. Didn't even wave at me, didn't even acknowledge me. Rich boy. If I was on tops, mate, I'd give you some of my water. Is that me with walking poles or what? Isn't it? Just stood still. <laughs> Worrying about his blisters. Come on. I'm hurting, but I saw it from afar. The counterweight on here, look. <coughs> nice action. <coughs> Can't even put it, watch this. Still got it. Why is it telling me to go down that way, which looks like I'm going backwards? Seven miles to go. <laughs> Dick. Seven miles to go, three hours. Let's get that. All right, guys, celebrating for me. Well done. Is that a medic? Medic! <laughs> Clutching at straws. There haven't been many, has there? Uh, three hours, that's maybe around about nine o'clock finish. Still be light, hopefully. I still have a chance to get into alehouse to bend the elbow, as they call it, as they say, as they whatever they do. 
Anyway, my banter's shit and I'm seven miles away from finish, so maybe the banter will return with gusto, with bells on. Just better than ever before when I'm like seven meters away from finish because then I'll be buzzing. But until then, my feet hurt a little bit. <laughs> I could cry. There's a robin sat on the direct on the the oh I was just struggling coming down the hill being like I can't do it, I can't do it. There it is. I can do it. Oh yes. Look at this. Oh, I really like these flint covered churches. Even I'm struggling it's worth I'll stop for church, let you have a look. That's a beauty. That is a beauty. Glorious. Oh, look at that bench, man. I could just... Oh. <laughs> Shall I just bivvy? I could just bivvy next to that bench, man. And, uh, it would be so good. I get lynched by villagers, though, now. Four miles. These are nice houses, aren't they? Four miles to go. Look, the final sunset. There it is, he's born. <sighs> Today's been a tough one, like. Uh, on to on feet and on nogging. It's been hard. <laughs> there it is, there's a trig point up here, let's go touch it. Ah, oh, mate. It's, uh, tell you what, it's them rocks, man. It's the way that the, uh, the flint and the rocks and the uneven ground just chews your, your shoes up against your feet. I've got the most blisters now than more blisters than I've ever had on any hike, I think. Like both my feet are just mainly blisters more than feet. Right, like, here we go. Chuck these down there, look. A little bit of me wants to just stay up here and keep out of the way. I'll maybe do that. We'll have a think about that, actually, because that is a good point, innit? I could keep up here and then go and tap out in the morning. But we can see, I've pretty much done it, and I? I've pretty much done it. There's end up there. <laughs> this should be end, so you don't have to dip into it into big smoke. Right, executive decision has been made not to go into Eastbourne now, quarter to nine, nine o'clock by the time I get to the actual finish point over there. And then I'm stuck, because I've got nowhere to stay here. I'm not supposed to be staying. I'm supposed to be getting here tomorrow and meeting my friend. So I will just be homeless in the middle of Eastbourne. And it doesn't look very good for wild camping. So although it would be good to, to, to finish now, I will be then stuck there and I might have to come up with back up here. So I'm just gonna keep somewhere around here on outskirts. But we all know I did it in four days, don't we guys? Come on, come on. I've pretty much done it, had I? I'm taking it, I'm taking it. So I'm gonna go get my head down somewhere secret. And then, uh, and then early rise, go down, we'll tap out, I mean top, well, tap out, top out, finish, maybe get in to see, and then Bob's your uncle, innit? <laughs> One more night under the stars. This is what I've been doing every night, I don't know if I've shown you, but I've just got a really lightweight um, uh, Aklima Merino wool layer. And then just some fresh socks every night, and that's it. Airbed, like a little protection mat underneath the airbed that is in there somewhere. And the Rab Neutrino, there it is, look. The Rab Neutrino 400. So this has been fine every night. And then I have my Sea to Summit Midgey head net. 
I've seen a couple of red ants kicking about here, so that's <laughs> that'll keep them from stinging me on the face because I've been done by that before and it ain't pleasant. Views from the boudoir are pretty nice. I don't have any water, but I've just been foraging brambles for the last 10 minutes. Just getting loads, loads of brambles into me because they've got liquid and sugars in them and that'll see me through the night. There's not much to report really, just this is it. <laughs> this is the setup. I'm tired. The phone's dying, don't have any grub or any water or anything. I can't even, can't even stay up drinking water. <laughs> but it's the sacrifices we make. I tell you what, lying down feels amazing. Not being on these feet, man. They're so blistered. Look at that. <laughs> Not bad, eh? Not bad at all. Bah, I treat you, don't I? I treat you to some views, don't I, mate? Look. Hell stunning. I'm not a million miles from path here. You can hear, you can hear people talking as they're going past. <laughs> I don't care anymore. I didn't care in the first place. They're roughing it. This isn't roughing it, is it? It's quite good. Oh, look. Don't shit on me, don't shit on me. Gullies. Right, okay. This is a glorious way to spend the last night, actually. I'm going to put my head net on because I feel things are get biting me. I'm just going to watch this sunset. It's another big moon tonight as well, so that should pop its head out. Last night was unreal, man. I wish I'd start. Uh, I wish I could have time. Uh, I wish I could have filmed some of the uh, meteor shower. I just wake up at night and just look up at the sky, and it was just like, pshh, pshh. It was like a film. Massive moon as well. Quality. That was just for me on nogging there. Right. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow anyway, and we'll go and. Um, We'll go and put a full stop on this trip. Unless something magical or tragical happens, I shall see you on the morrow. Morning. Just doing some stretches. It's five o'clock. Sunrise. <laughs> I'm on path, look at that. On the actual path. That's where I kipped. I was in that field over there and I was just getting smashed by... I think because I saw a couple of red ants, I think I was in another red ants nest. But I just kept getting stung. Um, and then I think it was horse flies or mo uh, mozzies were biting me through my clothes. It was doing me head in and I was thirsty. So I was like, right, well, let's move. And I got my head torch on and went and had a good like 10, 15 minute brambling just to get some sort of moisture into my face. Walked up here and just kept on path. Oh, I'm doing a bit of yoga, I'm gonna, in my morning routine, I forgot to tell you, uh, CBD oil for the old joints. I have some before I go to bed, some on the morning. That's re support local, Kent CBD. I'll leave a link here. I believe he's giving me a discount code at some point, so you can use that. Or just go and check them out. Um, Thoroughly, thoroughly sound bloke. So, a couple of them drops under the tongue. I'll carry on doing my yoga. I've got like a tiny bit of battery left, so we're going to make it, I think. Should be down there for like six o'clock. Hopefully, somewhere will be open where I can get some H2O. And then I'm going to go meet my friend, get in the sea, wash away all these sweaty sins of the trail. I'd have just been stuck in that built up area for the night and I would have had to sleep rough which I know I did, I've been doing all this trip but there's a difference between sleeping rough out in the sticks and sleeping rough down there because on, especially on a Saturday night I'd have had to get on a park bench or on beach or whatever it's also built up I'd have been I'd have been pestered and bothered and mithered. Probably. Anyway, chose not to. Got a bit of shut eye up here. And away I go just to finish off the last little bit. 
some beautiful scenery. Lovely sunrise coming up. The sun itself hasn't popped its head up, it will do soon. But it's bouncing off all the clouds and it's nice to be so close. Eastbourne, is it? That's that it, yeah. Oh no, my battery's flashing. <laughs> right, so this won't be too clever because it'll only be walking through the town and I'll save this little bit of juice on here so we can just touch the end thing job done Whew, tough slog tough slog, oh, that battery's going to tap out tough slog on trotters that one man my trotters are in bits but not a bad going we made good time on it, good time on it, and uh, I recommend it, I recommend it fully, it won me over, at first I was like, oh, might, is it just a bit bland or whatever, then it, run, it won me over with the rolling hills and the, the chalk and the flint, and the people I met, shout out everybody that I met, Vashu went, has got a little bit of juice left, uh, yeah, especially thanks to the, pe the, the crew that I hung out with for a bit who were doing it for charity, big up, you're all legends, well done. Uh, thanks to everyone who's watched this series there'll be another series coming soon for another long distance hike uh, take care of yourselves much love bye for now this should just cut to a clip of me and see I think hopefully but if not cheers <laughs> see ya and there it is sorry I didn't do map time at the end but let's be honest map time was it was pretty atrocious throughout so I do apologize for that and that's the South Downs Way completed. Another amazing journey in some pretty nogging, bubbling conditions. It was an impromptu adventure. It was full of side quests and personal growth. The skies were stunning throughout and the people I met along the way really did inspire me on my own journey. After the finish, I headed to a small village to the coast where I met up with Fern who was running a coastal foraging course. I was looked after with some delightful foraged food and after my belly was full, me, Fern and a couple of people from her course went for a dip in the sea. And I'm sure those guys loved their swim, but for me it symbolised the true end to my South Downs Way adventure. And as the cold salty water soothed my aching body, I was washed over with a sense of pride and calm and a feeling of contentment because it felt like for now my noggin was happy and my noggin was quiet. Thanks very much for watching if you've lasted this far. I send you nothing but love and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.